Greetings and welcome back. It is Monday, May 22nd, and it's another episode of Coach Show Live, streaming live every Monday at 8 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. We got another smoking hot show for you tonight. We got Bright Corners and Gunpowder Milkshake. Please uh, support and check out the links in the description if you want to, uh, you know, listen to their tracks and, and buy their merch and everything. So, without further ado, Bright Corners. Thanks for having us, man. Yours and mine I can't say I ever really tried This one's called That's Life. Here we go. So much 
Shady up in here. <laughs> it is one of those. Yes, it is. I love staring right at Barrett. Right, I love this. It's, you're inspiring everything. <laughs> this is good communication. Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> Easy on the eyes. Oh, you got that right, Daddy. <laughs> I might be wrong. It's just a little bit shady The way you've been acting lately I'm not blind I can see the signs That you're probably using again Is it the same old, same old Day in, day out Circle spinning, nothing getting is it your heartbreak and temptation blowing up your motivation? Think that you're the only one losing your cool. 
depending on you. got to throw on one of these strange devices here. It's called a capo. Yeah, exactly. Best friend of anyone who doesn't want to stretch the point of pain. It's called I'm here if you want me. This is part of the show where you make the guy that's actually tuning feel awkward because I, I just said nah, I'm good yeah. we'll see who's right <laughs> shit
instruments, man. We're going to do a I Can't Stop Loving You, right? Okay. All right. It's going to get real slow, real quick. <laughs> Dude, Kosho, thank you for having us. This is awesome. Yeah, no, no, no. What a, thank what a you. treat, man. Yeah. No. Loving you, and I want to. I don't. 
left here guys this has been this is way too much fun to have on a monday night i'll tell you that man <laughs> oh it's trouble yeah correct yeah. <laughs> yeah. can they all be like this <laughs> no that's that's the other side of my brain talking <laughs> my joke is that the weekend starts on monday now with <laughs> yeah, basically correct. this yeah. <laughs> yeah. this sets every the whole week yeah. is off now exactly you just got to keep riding mm -hmm. keep, keep, keep the thing to find the vibe just play where alcohol yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, make sure you edit that part out. Okay? We are serious artists up here. Yeah, what are we going to do? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Shake it once in a while, but nobody. 
nobody does You can be my wicked son I'll be your protector Raise a glass to everyone And free them of all matters We'll move into a heart One more. 
Then we got gunpowder milkshake coming up. And it's going to be sick. It's going to be good. It's the tuning game we play when your guitars are old and shitty. Drunk and wake for a friend We'll never light up a room again We're gonna do it up right Pretend it's Halloween night Drunk and wake for a friend
Thank you, guys. Tosho, pleasure being here. Come out a milkshake, baby. Damn, thank you guys so much, Bright Corners. Um, <laughs> Dude, thank you, man. God. No, uh, yeah, so I wanted to get into a little bit, in case the audience doesn't know, uh, a little secret not so secret, Bright Corners is actually playing with my own band, Mega, at the Queen Theater on Friday, June 9th. Shameless self-promotion, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm but sorry, hey. I had to do it. Um, <laughs> You know, really I mean, I'll tell you, I mean, almost sure. like the most exciting thing about it for me is that I'm going to get to see you guys play again. <laughs> yeah, likewise. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, but but I, I think it's going to be a great show. I, I definitely hope uh, that there's a good turnout. So, but uh, what are you thinking about it, playing at the Queen? Have you ever played there yeah, before? I mean, yeah, it's cool. I mean, they, they've done a good job, like Brianna and the whole team. Mm -hmm. The crown room, that, you know, they've got a great like yeah. list of acts that, that they have. You know, there it's like another place for like local bands to play, trying to kind of fill the void a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. um, so dude, I'm excited, man. Always been a good sounding room, so you know. Yeah, add definitely. Some, add some guitars and hope, hopefully the people will come. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I actually yeah. haven't. I've only played in the crown once, and it was probably like. Yeah, God, it could have been. Regime, yeah, it was like, mega <laughs> before mega was called mega, even you know, right, and it was yeah. like everything was weird and different, you know. <laughs> yeah, likewise, um, yeah, it's been a minute. But, uh, but yeah, always looking forward to it, man. Yeah, get a chance to play with you guys too. You sure. Know? Yeah. Well, we all love our our sweet guitar music. You know we man? do yeah, love to like play that. stringed instruments. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Stretch out. A little um. Bit, you know? Yeah, man. Now, when we when we caught up a little bit before, uh, you know, tonight's show, you were talking, uh, let slip to me, that maybe by the end of the year, you might have an album recorded. So Yeah, uh, that's the plan, man. So, yeah? you know, we got together, like, right as the COVID pandemic kind of shut everything down. Um, so we had, like, that whole kind of year just to, like, get up and shed all these tunes. Um, and then, like, life has intervened in the last, you know, year or so, you know what I mean? But, like, we're ready. You know, it's like we owe it to the world. You know, we got a bunch of tunes worked up and... Just got to get it out there, you know what I mean? So that's, sure. that's our some, goal, you know what I mean? Some of that material you played just now, too? Yeah, I mean, all of it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. All right, yeah, exactly. cool, yeah. cool, yeah. yeah got enough for probably two records at this point, but uh, <laughs> got to start somewhere, you know? Got to yeah. open the floodgates, yeah. We're very backed up. We're backed up. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're backed up. <laughs> yeah, dude, but it's going to be fun, man. Yeah, it's always fun playing with these guys, you know? A bunch of talented Fucking music loving people. Yeah, can dude, actually, you know? can, Dan, can you introduce the band? Yeah, so bass, we have Trinka Dorsey. Um, so she, um, we found her, yeah. we found her through Barrett, um, Lauren and the Home Wreckers, and then that kind of um, connection. So, like, the second we got together with her, it was just, yeah, it was awesome. You know what I mean? Just the, the bass tone. She cares so much about just playing the right thing. And just like just, harmonies, just, too. Oh, God, yeah. Oh exactly. Boy. As soon as I heard that voice, oh you know what I mean? Oh, boy. Um, so. Yeah, she like she's our Chico. She unlocks a whole lot of uh, of magical stuff for us. So you know, it's it's great. And uh, Chris and I have been playing together for a long time. You know, I mean, probably ten years almost. Um, just kind of bonding over our like mutual love of Neil Young and <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> nerdy like nerdy '80s like indie rock music like Jesus of the Marriage, just nerdy stuff. You know, um, and Barrett, I go back with uh, geez, Barrett May on the drums, dude. Go back since high school. You know what I mean? We've been in and out of bands, but never kind of together. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, that's my boy, man. You know, I like I love all these. You know, it's just like a labor of love every time we get together. You know, it's like so much fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, that's awesome. And uh, one last thing before I let you off the hook here. I want to wanna send one more little thing past you, which is um, one of the things I've noticed, actually, about your guys' songwriting is if, like, I've seen you guys before, mm -hmm. loved it every time. And I think you guys do a great job in um, that the music is getting dramatic while the lyrics are getting dramatic, too. You know, while sure. something in the story of the song, you know, whether, you know, especially a good example might have been like uh, maybe it was your third or song, something about the refrain of I love this girl or something like that. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and like along those lines, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I think I think yeah, it's great yeah. that that. The, the intensity builds while the lyrical yeah. content is actually um, gaining in drama. Sure. And yeah. I think that's that's such a, a, a cool thing, you know, and, and I think about that 
as a songwriter, honestly, after I saw sure. you guys play one, one time when I was like, oh, that's, that's what you have to do. I was like... Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. The songs are songs are an interesting animal, you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. Especially when you are trying to play them in a way that, you know, allows like a little bit of uh, freedom, you know, in terms of a rock and roll unit, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so, I mean, every, you know, everything almost boils down to like a folk song, you know what I mean? You could deconstruct any of our songs and play it on like an acoustic guitar, that's how they were written, you know what I mean? Or on a piano or whatever. But when you start adding in the elements, you know what I mean, that's, uh, it's kind of, you know, that's like the... The, t- the yin and yang of it all, you know what I mean? There's, on one side, you've got just, like, a simple tune, you know, like, Towns Van Zandt, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Bob Dylan, like, that's all, Neil Young, that's all a big part of us. But Neil Young's probably a good touch point because he did both, too. Right. You know what I mean? He could mm. write you a real simple song, but also take it on an instrumental kind of journey. I'm not saying we're that good, you know what I mean? But that's kind of the, the goal, you know what I mean? To kind of treat each song as a, as, a, as a place to take off if you want it to take off, you know what I mean? Obviously, right. you don't want it take off all the time because that'd be too much that's that's yeah yeah (laughs) right but you know that's it you know a lot of that's just you know having the having the structure down and bring it to these guys and they they just uh provide so much like passion and soul in their performance that you know it's gonna all it's just gonna bring it all up you know just rise the occasion you know so it's just nothing but fun you know what i mean sure yeah well it was a treat it was a treat having you here very excited to play with you in two three weeks yeah queen and uh Another fl- yeah. the plug. Yeah. Like, no, I can't wait to. Yeah. It's like, you know, yep. it's always a blessing to be able to, to and thank do you all. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Thank, thank you, you all for tuning yeah. in. It's been it's been a great first set, and we'll be back soon. Gunpowder milkshake. Yes. Let's go. Yeah.